Quarterfinal number three also out there in the lineup at the moment. Griffin Cola Pinto carrying a lot of form coming into this clash and Barron Mamiya. You know, he's the one surfer that came into this stop below that cut line. He saved himself. He's on the CT. Someone's going to have to, you know, wrestle the trophy out of Medina and Toledo's grasp over there at the surf ranch too. As we see Baron Mamiya up at the moment, looking to tap into form, surfing his first head-to-head -head matchup against Griffin Colapinto here in the quarterfinals at the Western Australia Margaret River Pro. Couple of nice hits there, but the lefts typically haven't led to big numbers throughout the event. And it's typically a bit more of a slopier wave here. So you watch here, Baron Mamiya gets up and kind of grinds through that first turn, carves through it, waits, waits for it to stand up again, but it's almost going away from you the whole time. And with this south swell, it's really just breaking into the bay. So, you know, not too much wall that's really standing up, but a bit of jockeying here. I like it. Bit of hustle there. Well, well the left hand up. You know, it's a one course meal and you, you've got to really make the most of that first section. The right is kind of like a three course meal. But you eat your main and then you kind of have your entree in the middle and then you get the dessert at the end. Well, you really don't know what you're going to get with the dessert. It could be anything from uh, Rocky Road to, you know, bowl yeah. of ice cream. It could be just a couple yeah. of dates served up on a plate. But, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on his road through to this point in the competition. At the moment, Griffin Colapinto up. Looking to answer to Baron Mamiya's 3.5 opener. Griffin with some foam on the face will be doing well to ride out of this final turn. Gets out in front of it. And he was basically a, a little boy at that point. John John Florence was in world title winning form. And he's just a different surfer now. And probably about 10 kilos heavier as well. As we see, Griffin Colapinto up again on a tricky section. Hangs on to the floating re-entry. Drives up into the lip again. And he does really well to hang on to this one. That's a bit more like it. Had a five on his last ride, so did get the better of Barron on the opening exchange, and now he's about to bank a better number and push ahead here. Added speed to his repertoire, but a little bit more consistent throughout each venue at, at, on the championship tour this year, Rick. Yeah, he's looking good, isn't he? And uh, that final manoeuvre there, not a problem. Late takeoff. And watch Griffey. He sort of jumps up on the lip here, projects out with it, Stays out of the danger zone and then uh, just navigates through these bumps. So watch this. Gets the line. It goes, okay, up and over. Jumps up on the lip here. Gliding on the roof and then right here. Just, you've got to come down. Absolute walls of water coming together. Here goes Baron Mamiya. Needs a number to get back out in front. And it's a pretty hefty one now with Griffin Cola Pinto putting together a, a pretty decent couple of rides there, a 5 and a 6.67. He gets the 8s more often than not. We'll come back to that. Here goes Cola Pinto now. Trying to get rid of a 5 to really put the blowtorch under Baron Mamiya. Nice hook off the top. Well, it does well to almost fit two turns into a, a tight space there, but goes down. A steeper and more critical line on the bolier sections. Live action. Well, Mamiya Tries to put a bit more into that first turn. This wave now backing off for a moment, but it'll be smart to stick with this one and look for that big finish. Now getting away from that right-hander as he attacks yes. the oncoming left, gets in early. This is going to be a, a better ride for Baron Mamiya. Okay, so look how Baron kind of snaps up into the lip there. Uh, it, it's a different style of manoeuvre. John probably would have gone to the big carve and really just uh, filleted that section, but a, a great wave nonetheless for, for Barron, a real comeback wave in this heat at the moment, given that John has priority and is looking for a second score. Here we go, Griff, just trying to get into this one. Well, he had priority, Whoa. but there was not a whole lot he could do. Lucky for him, Barron Mamiya attacks the lip and goes down. Barron Mamiya, a 5.33 on his previous ride. Things are starting to tighten up in quarterfinal three. Obviously, thank the Wadundi community, the elders, pastor and present. Wadundi Buja, saltwater people's country, uh, a magic place. And all the surfers have been really relishing their time here. As we see, Barron Mamiya. Can he? Oh, oh my goodness. He was so close to 
maybe getting the, the strongest end section hit in this morning. It didn't ride out, and uh, that's going to cost him big time. But that might have been the number he needed to get into the lead. He was after a 6.45. Face the opportunity to maybe catch a wave in the final minute. But then if he, he goes into the Red Bull ski, it might take him that long to get back to the takeoff anyway. Yeah, it's going to be really hard, but some good surfing on oh. this one. Have a look at the size of that final section. Jeez, he did really well to to really stay in front of it till these final, final moments. But that's a really good carve from Baron as well. That was the wave. He got a 3.23 just for that turn. Oh. This was a five-point turn. Oh, that is a full poster moment right there. And you can see here his motivation right now is hang on. Get through this heat oh. if I hang on to this manoeuvre. And Griffin Colapinto is going to charge into that second semi-final. And he will be matched up against the winner of the last quarterfinal, Ethan Ewing or John John Florence. Still 20 minutes remaining in that battle.